Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, there's Dean and there's Scott. But don't just sit there, my wee pirates. Come on, let's get busy. What's in Granny Murray's shelves today? Your turn, Dean. Cool. That's beautiful. Now, we've got Dean and we've got Scott. And someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> Who's coming home to Granny Murray, Scott? Whose legs are those coming down the steps? Oh, yes, it's Rudy with Jack. Hello there. Rudy, hello. Hi, Granny Murray. And Jack. Oh, <laughs> Come on, my darling. That's the way. Hello, my boys. <laughs> in you come. Oh, it's been raining cats and dogs out there. Well, there's some funny meat creatures in here too, Rudy. <laughs> We've been doing face painting to cheer ourselves up, haven't we, boys? Yeah. But now Jack's here, we'll do something new. Let's dress Claude up for a sunny day and we'll pretend it's beautiful sunshine outside. We can go and sit in the shade. Oh, oh good oh. idea. <laughs> I can't believe how miserable and wet it is outside. Oh, I know. It's good weather for ducks and carrots, as my mother used to say. Oh, that's a funny expression. Hey, what do you call the crazy duck? Oh, I don't know, Wayne. Daffy? Mm-mm. <laughs> Quackers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, when it's raining, it's nice to be reminded of the sunshine. Don't forget your sun cream, Claude. <laughs> Oh, I bet your Claude must be the warmest person in Riversea Fingal. And the coolest. I like your shades, Claude. <gasps> What's that? Dad, this <gasps> is for you. Let's have a look. A mobile phone. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> no, it's a seashell. <laughs> that's why I can hear the sea in it. Oh, that's great. I'll take that with me. Here's a cuddle before I go. Yeah, you have a good day. Yeah. See you later, guys. Come on, then. Bye-bye. Bye, Dad. Now remember, when it's raining, it's always nice to be reminded of the sunshine. <laughs> Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. <laughs> Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Rudy and make sure he goes the right way to work? I'm on my way to work today. I'm walking my shoes through the city views. I'm stepping along and I'm swinging me arms and I'm singing my way through the city's charms. I get in there, it's just so fine. I so enjoy my walking time. I always go the way I know, but can you tell me the way I go? Okay, which way? And do I go left now? Or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? And which way is right? Right! OK, that way, to the market. I'm on my way to work today. I'm going this way and that away. Hello, cobbles. Hello, train. Hello, roadworks. Hello, tram. Hello, sweeper. Hello, bag. Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? And which way's a frown? Ah! What, this way? You told me the way to go. Thank you, you showed me the way I know. Now what? Oh, that's right, I need to get changed for work. <laughs> And ready to go. Oh, I hope this weather doesn't put people off from coming to my stall. Oh, hi, Rudy. Oh, hello, Dr. Juno. How are you feeling this morning? Oh, terrible. I'm 
cold and wet and I've just stepped into a great big puddle. What must you do if it's raining cats and dogs? Um, I don't know. <laughs> or what you don't step in a poodle? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no mood for jokes, really. I just want to quickly get what I came for and just go home and change my socks. Oh, quite right, Doc, quite right. What would you like? Can I have a pineapple, please? Ah, good choice. A tropical fruit for a rainy day. Afraid you're going to have to wait, though. My delivery's been held up by the bad weather. Well, I'm not coming back out in this. Well, well it might have cleared up by then. Oh, I doubt it. Oh, come on, Doc. I'm just trying to cheer you up. Oh. I know. I'm sorry, Rudy. I'm not grumpy at you. It's just rotten weather. Look, I'll come back once I've changed my socks. OK, bye. <laughs> I bet your Jack's having a far more cheerful time at Granny Murray's. I love to skip the river sea tingle, river sea tingle, that's for me. Here we are. Just because it's raining outside, Jack, doesn't mean we can't have a nice sunny day in our picture, does it? No. I think we'll call this Granny Murray's Sunshine Island. I hope your dad doesn't get soaked in all that rain today, Jack. I hope so too. Oh. It must be pouring out there. I know. I wonder how dad's doing. Are you having fun, Daddy? Hey, Chuck Louie. Oh, listen, I've got a great joke for you. When can four people get underneath an umbrella and not get wet? When it isn't raining. <laughs> I don't think making jokes about the weather is going to have anyone laughing today, Rudy. It's impossible to have fun when the weather's like this. Let's go. See you later. Bye. Right, time for me to get down to some hard work. Dooby dooby doo. I make it look easy. What I do be do be do, and what I do is sell to you and you and you all of the veggies for a stew. But it's more than meets the eye. What I do for you as I buy and buy, while you still sleep those fruit and veg to eat. And the flowers in the early hours So when wake up comes It's there for you The market stalls are there to view Oh the market, the market What a wonderful place oh, The hub of the people The smiles on each face oh, The market, the market Come look around the hustle, the bustle, the bubbles of sound The colours all chaotic and spilling about The smells all exotic, yeah, the market cries out Objects to excite you and draw you near The buying and the selling, cheap or dear The market, the market, I just love to be there The market is a wonderful place <laughs> Hi, Rudy. Oh, Special delivery. Tina, thank goodness you made it. Oh, well, I almost didn't. Half the roads are closed. Now, who do you want these pineapples? Let me take them right off you now. Oh, thanks again. Hey, what do you call a pineapple with a tomato on it, Ted? Ah, uh, no jokes today, Rudy. I'm not in the mood. Oh, I thought you liked my jokes. Oh, I do. But not today. <laughs> I'm beginning to wish I'd have stayed with Jack at Granny Murray's this morning. I've never met so many grumpy people. Oh, I'm sorry, Rudy. I just want to go home and soak in a nice hot bath. <laughs> I'd have thought the last thing you would have wanted to see was more water. <laughs> oh, that is not funny, Rudy. <laughs> bye. Oh, bye. Oh, crumbs. Nobody today's got a sense of humour. <laughs> I hope Jack's still in a good mood. I love to skip in river
How's the socks? Oh, my socks are fine. Where are the pineapples? Look. Oh, Tina's brought them all round. <laughs> oh, one of these will soon cheer you up. There's plenty to choose from. Right. Oh, no. No. Look, these are all too hard, Rudy. Haven't you got any riper ones? Here you go. By tomorrow. This one will be all juicy and yellow and gorgeous inside. Tomorrow? I'm not coming back tomorrow again. Look, the weather forecast is for rain, you know. Well, you could always buy it now and then take it home to ripen. Oh, very well. Oh, but it's quite heavy. Look, I'll come back later and collect it once I've finished the rest of my shopping. All right, Doc. Don't worry. I'll keep it safe for you. Oh, glum, glum, glum. I'm trying my best to put a smile on me customers' faces, but they just keep on getting glummer and glummer. What am I doing wrong? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I went to Granny Murray's with Jack. At eight o'clock, I arrived for work at Castle Market. It was pouring with rain, so everybody had their umbrellas up. Dr. Juno was my first customer. She was grumpy because of the horrible weather. She just stepped in a puddle and was in no mood for my jokes. She couldn't buy a pineapple as my delivery had been held up by the weather. She agreed to come back later but wasn't very happy about it. At 10 o'clock, Chuck and Louie arrived. They were both down in the dumps. I tried to cheer them up with some of my jokes, but I just made them glummer. At 12 o'clock, Tina arrived with my pineapples. She'd had a terrible morning in her taxi and wouldn't even listen to one of my jokes. She left in a grump too. At 1 o'clock, Dr. Juno came back to buy her pineapple but didn't think any of them were ripe enough. But I found her a nice juicy one and she said she'd collect it after she'd finished her other shopping. But she wasn't pleased about having to come back yet again. Another unhappy customer. Now remember, when it's raining, it's always nice to be reminded of the sunshine. When it's raining, it's nice to be reminded of the sunshine. The sunshine. What can I use to remind people of the sunshine? <laughs> my sunshine fruits. That's it. I can use my stall to put a smile back on everybody's faces. <laughs> it's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. I like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? He's as sure as we are friends, he will get there in the end Because he knows what he should do, I'm working for I'm gonna do it He's gonna do it I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime I'm gonna sort it He's gonna start it I'm gonna do the job on time like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Oh, <laughs> that should do the trick Sunshine on a rainy day <laughs> Wow, look at this Chuck It's like something you would see on a tropical island <gasps> You really think so? Yeah, this looks cool Rudy Just looking at it, it's brought a smile to my face And a chin to my trumpet <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, excuse me please. We've been waiting all day for this! A sunshine calypso party! <laughs> oh. And here's your pineapple, Dr. Juno. Here you go. Oh, thanks, Doc. No, thank you, Rudy, for bringing the smiles back to our faces. Oh, Rudy! Oh, this is more like it! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, at last, everybody's happy. Oh, I wish Jack could see how everybody's laughing and dancing. <laughs> Let's stick on all our pictures. Yeah. Oh, what have you got, Jack? A speedboat. Look at this, everybody. Oh, nice deck chairs, relaxing in the sun. Oh, Jack. You've got a wee smudge of paint on you. Come here, my darling, oh, and I'll wipe it off before Dad comes home. Oh, is <laughs> Dad really coming home? <laughs> yes, my treasure. Soon. Ready? Come away in. Someone to see you, Jack. Hello, Dad. mate. Give us a cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you had a great time with Granny Murray. Yeah. We certainly did. Say thank you to Granny Murray. Oh, Thanks, Granny Murray.
Marie. Oh, pleasure, my darling boy. <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. When it's raining, it's nice to be reminded of the sunshine. And it saved the day. Oh, thanks, Rudy. Well, we'd better get you two home. <laughs> Come on, mate. Looking forward to next time. <laughs> Me too. Bye -bye. Hey, Come on, Jack. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye-bye, closing, wagging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shooting, choosing, talking, cooking, grinding, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things and rushing round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a sunbather because we were trying to forget it was raining outside and the children all had their faces painted in bright colours. After Rudy left for work, we painted a huge desert island on the wall with a great big sun in the sky to keep us all smiling. Jack painted a deep blue sea. But the fun really started when we took our musical instruments out for a Sunshine Island Calypso dance party. Everyone was laughing and smiling and making as much noise as possible. I felt like I was on a real tropical island. Later on, Jack and I added some finishing touches to the painting. We stuck on a sun umbrella and even put a speedboat in the sea. At the same time as we were decorating our desert island, Rudy was decorating his stall. He remembered what I told him. When it's raining, it's nice to be reminded of the sunshine. When everyone saw his smiley tropical sun, they started to smile too and had a calypso dance party, just like the one we had here. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. <laughs> Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Rachel and we've got Sean. But don't just sit there, pickles. Come on, let's get busy. We are going to play the underground train game. The train is going to stop at the castle. Choo -choo. Bridge. Choo -choo. Well, we've got Sean and we've got Rachel, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, yes, it's Rebecca with Mickey John. Hello there. <laughs> Hello, Mickey John. Running around. <laughs> oh, well, we'll be playing a sort of underground train game. <laughs> you see, these are all the different stops on the River Sea Fingal Underground. Oh, amazing. I love maps. I can look at them all day. You know, I sometimes snuggle up in bed with a nice map. Oh, well, now Rebecca's here. We'll do something new. Since we're going on an underground train later, let's dress Claude up as an underground train driver. <laughs> and we can squeeze on down and take a seat, Mickey John. Oh, Come nice. on. Oh, back. excuse me. Oh, oh, back. oh my goodness. Me. Oh, oh, mind the gap. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, you like maps? Oh, absolutely. All sorts of maps. You know, last week I found a fantastic old map of Riversea Fingal. Oh, did the city look different? Too, right. It showed how Riversea Fingal looked a long, long time ago, before my school was even built. Fancy that! Do you know, talking of a long time ago, I was going to take the children to see something I remember from a long time ago. It's called the Camera Obscura. Oh, it's incredible. You can see the whole city. Well, I know. I remember going to see it when I was a little girl and I thought it was fascinating. The only trouble is I'm not sure how to explain how it works to the children. It's fairly simple, really. You see, it's all to do with the way the different uh, mirrors shine onto the convex lens. Oh, stop! Oh, I don't really want to know how it works. <laughs> well, just take the children and let them see for themselves. Oh, well, looks like your underground driver is ready to take you there. Good old Claude. <laughs> oh, very smart. Oh, mind the doors. <laughs> well, I better be going. Daddy. Oh, it's an underground map of Riversea Fingal. Thanks, Rebecca. Ah, oh, 
Have fun at the camera, I hope, Scooter. <laughs> Bye then. Come on. Now remember, let them see for themselves. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. You keep a wee eye on Mickey John. Make sure he goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today. Walking my shoes through the city views. Stepping along and swinging my arms. Singing my way through the city's charms. Getting there is just so fine. I so enjoy my walking time. I always go the way I know. Can you show me the way I go? OK, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! OK, right, to the school. I'm on my way to work today Looking this way and that away Hello, Ali! Hello, doors! Hello, steeple! Hello, walls! Hello, people! Do I go up now? Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Up! OK, that way. Up! You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Thanks for that. Now, what have I got to do? That's right. Time for the tie. All dressed and ready to go. I'm really looking forward to today's lesson. All right, Mickey John. Oh, hi, Bobby. Listen, have you got a mat I can borrow? I certainly have. I've got loads of them. In fact, that's exactly what I'm teaching a lesson about today. See? Loads of different maps. Look, we've got uh, road maps, map of countries, map of the world. <laughs> no, I didn't ask for a map. I asked for a mat. It's for the gymnastics display that I'm teaching to some of the classes later on. I'm sorry, Bobby. I got maps on the brain today. Here, hang on. I got just the thing in my cupboard. Ah. Will this do? Perfect. Thanks, Mickey John. I'll bring it back later. <laughs> I wonder if you're on your way to the camera obscura yet, Bex. I love to skip in River Seat Bingo, River Seat Bingo, bye. What are you doing now, Daddy? Oh, goodness, the school bell. Oh, I better clear these maps away. Don't want to spoil the surprise. Mohammed? Here. Leanne? Here. Monica? Here. And Ifra. Here. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Messi John. Right, I've got something exciting to show you today. In fact, something really exciting. In fact, something absolutely incredible. But uh, I've hidden it away for now. Aww. Because first, we have to get down to some hard work. Oh, oh, oh. With joy when I go to school in the morning Teaching with my chums and see the children learning School day, work away I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching I'm teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching School day, work away 
Teaching to count and teaching to read. Learn about birds and plants and seeds. Playing games and sports outdoors. Blowing my whistle and keeping a score. Secretary smiling as she does her organising. The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes, and the cleaner keeps us shining. Oh, what a joy when I go to school in the morning. Holding the line in the dinner queue while the cookie cooks and serves a stew. Answering the questions where and why. How does it work and how does it fly? I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. Children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look, I mark their books, the good ones get a smiley. Oh, what joy when I go to school in the morning. Well done, everyone. You've all worked really hard this morning. So now I'm going to give you that special treat I told you all about earlier. I'm going to tell you all about... Maps! Oh. Now, maps can tell you loads of things, and this is a brilliant map. This is a map of Fingal Hill, and you can see the whole city from the top of this hill, and there's the path that goes all the way down the mountain. And look at these lines here. These are called contour lines, and they show the shape of the hill. Now, isn't that fascinating? You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Not to worry, because I'm going to be talking a lot more about maps this afternoon. Now, isn't that exciting? Oh. Oh, lunchtime. Off you go. That's funny. My class don't seem very interested in my map. Oh, well, hopefully Rebecca's a bit more enthusiastic about the camera obscura. <laughs> Our arm skewer. Oh, it's so exciting. We're in for a real treat. Look! You can see the whole of River Sea Fingal. The people, the cars. Oh, so alive and busy. Oh, look, dumplings. Do you like the camera obscura? Yeah. It's fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Rebecca, your dad would love it here, wouldn't he? Yeah. I'm thinking of you, Daddy. Began, oh, I've brought back your map. Eh? Oh, the mat. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry about the mix-up earlier. <laughs> How did your gym class go? Oh, um, brilliantly. Children loved it when I did a backflip. They were really interested. Oh, I wish my class were interested in what I was telling them about this morning. Oh, what was that? Maps. They're fascinating. Take this map of Fingal Hill, for example. It's incredible. Look, you can see the path marked. Right. And what are all those squiggly lines? They're called contour lines. They show you the shape of the hill. When they're close together, that means the hill is very steep. But uh, when they're a bit further apart, that means the hill is not so steep. Now, you have to admit that is incredibly interesting. Well, for you, maybe, but I don't really see it. Anyway. Thanks for the mat. I'll catch you later. Oh. What's wrong with everyone? I love maps, but nobody else seems to. Why is no one else as excited as me? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped Rebecca off at Granny Murray's house. They were using a map to play the underground game, so the children dressed Claude as an underground train driver. Granny Murray told me she was taking the children to the camera obscura. I began to explain how it works, but Granny Murray found me a bit complicated. At eight o'clock, I got to work. Bobby popped in and I thought she wanted to borrow a map. But I heard wrong. She didn't want a map. She wanted a mat for her gym class demonstration. At nine o'clock, the bell went, and my class came in, and I told them I had a treat in store for them. At 11 o'clock, it was treat time. I showed them my map of Fingal Hill with its amazing contour lines. But the class just looked bored. At 12 o'clock, Bobby wasn't interested in the map either. She said she couldn't see what I was talking about. How can I make my map more interesting for my class? Now remember, let them see for themselves. Hmm. Let them see for themselves. Of course, 
The children can't get excited about the map because they don't know what it's a picture of. So I have to show them that the map is really a picture of a real hill. It's a race against time! I gotta do it, I gotta do it I gotta beat the clock before the chime I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it I gotta do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? Yes, it shows we are friends, he will get there in the end Because he has what he should do I'm gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. He's gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Right, class. I hope you all had a nice lunch and are ready to hear a lot more about maps. Oh, don't worry. I've got a brilliant way to make it much more interesting this time. So, I've made a model of how Fingal Hill looks in real life. You can see that the hill is very steep here, but not so steep here. And look at these lines here. When the lines are very close together, that means the hill is very steep. But when they're further apart, it means it's not so steep. Now, isn't that exciting? Yeah! Hello, look, haha. Here's a little railway train. Hey! Going through the mountain, and it'll go through, and round the other side. Ah! Oh. I wonder what you're up to, Rebecca. Have you had a lovely time? Oh, oh you oh. bet we have, eh? Say thank you to Granny Murray. Come here, my darling. Oh, good girl. And it's thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying, let them see for themselves, save the day. Well, I never did. Come on now, you'd better be off. Eh? Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Rebecca. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things, and rushing round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as an underground train driver because we were going on an underground train later. Mickey John dropped off Rebecca and told me how he loved maps. And when I told him we were going to the Camera Obscura, he tried to explain how they work. Oh, I didn't understand a word he said. The underground train was very exciting and very noisy. The Camera Obscura looked amazing. We saw a bird's eye view of the city reflected onto a table. It looked magic. When Mickey John came to pick up Rebecca, he said he was glad he had remembered to let his class see for themselves. It made his map lesson much more interesting. So today, everyone could see for themselves. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. I love to sip and river sea things, go river sea things, go pie. I love to sip and river sea things, go river sea things, Come on and get on down to the city, where the fairy box stands the blue. Time to call on Granny 